There's been a lot of negative news coming out of Oakland, California lately. What is going on? Yeah. I mean, a lot of people messaged us, asked us to talk about it. A lot of elders are being attacked. Uh, one was murdered. The mayor is being investigated by the FBI. Let's run the clip. What a fucking loser. Oh my God, he really hit her. What a fucking bitch, dude. The news, 13 senior citizens reportedly being attacked and robbed in just one week in an Oakland community. Residents of this community say there could be as many as 30 victims. Oakland police say there is no sign the victims are being targeted because of their race, but this is a majority Asian American community. I was just horrified. There is no shortage of terrifying stories from residents of a senior living facility who have been attacked in recent days. It was happening every hour on the hour. Sister Marie Taylor is president of the Westlake Christian Terrace Resident Council. She says she's counted nearly 30 violent attacks and robberies on elderly Asian residents in a span of less than a week. Not only do you just grab their purse, but then you beat them brutally. We have several that were had to be taken to the emergency. One broke their wrist. We had police on Saturday. And then it continued on Sunday with more multiple residents being attacked. Listen, guys, it looks like a, a gameplay playthrough of Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, in it, right it's, now. you know, and, you know, I'm not there. I don't live in Oakland. I have some friends who live in the Bay Area, obviously, and some of them are involved in politics. I'm hearing a lot of different things. But I will say this. The news coming out of Oakland, especially as of lately, not good. And it's, it is involving Asian people. That's why we're talking about it. I know that we're not exactly a news channel, and I'm not here just to bash on the Bay Area cities and whatever, but it, it is bad. Well, well, here's the crazy thing is all of the victims are Asian, but also the mayor that is being investigated by the FBI for corruption, and it seems like they got a pretty strong case against her, is also Asian. Yeah, so we're going to be covering this. We're going to be talking about, uh, first of all, the elder attacks and like, the robberies and even one of the deaths. And so uh, we're going to talk about that. And then we'll talk about what we know about what's going on with the mayor, just for the people who maybe are not as tapped in. We're going to give you the uh, general information. Yeah. So let me just be clear here. Obviously, this is pretty common sense for anybody. But, you know, just if you're watching, maybe you're not from America or something like that. Oakland has always been dangerous. Like we can Google stuff all the way back decades. But even as early as 2021, Oakland Chinatown was getting hit specifically like Chinese elders that were part of that, uh, I guess like elderly home community were getting robbed and beat up and punched and attacked. Right, so uh, unfortunately, uh, elders being attacked or robbed is not a brand new thing to the Oakland area. Oakland has been one of the hot spots for this type of stuff. Obviously SF, New York City, LA a little bit, especially, you know, when all those things were happening. But Oakland particularly has been pretty bad very recently up to 13, and a lot of the community members say even more elders have been robbed in the past week, and they just haven't even reported it. Right, right, right. I mean, the truth is, I'll just break it down to you guys succinctly, if you guys are inside, on the outside, wondering. You have large communities of lower-income elderly Asians living right next to some of the highest crime rate zones in the city. Yeah. So basically, you just... Put two and two together. That is a terrible combination. Yeah, and and you know, like for example, in New York where we live, like there is, a, it's a densely packed. Obviously, there is even more people in New York City and more lower income and higher income people. But uh, because it's so small in New York, I think it's policed a lot better. So I think Oakland is a little bit more spread out. It's not as dense of a city, and so when people are running around and jumping in cars, they can jump in cars easier and stuff like that. There's a lot of reasons why. You know, yeah, well, I mean, there, let's be honest here. I, I'm just going to keep it real because the news has gotten so bad. There's memes right now about like the Bay Area, Portland, and Seattle. Everybody, you know, Spider Man pointing at each other to see who can possibly have the worst policies regarding crime and safety possible. Right, right. And, and obviously, the mayor of Oakland, who she doesn't have all the power in the world, but her being the mayor and also getting investigated, which we're going to talk about. Right. It's crazy. These Shen are just Tao, stacking. She's, yeah, she's Hmong and like, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just, just. It's stacking on top of each other. So I guess, David, uh, I've, so I, I've actually talked to a couple of friends in the Bay Area who are into politics and this is what they said about Oakland. All right, one friend said Oakland is real life GTA. 
Uh, someone said that you will probably start to see some version of vigilante groups starting in Oakland to help fight crime in their own way because they're so sick of seeing Asian elders get hurt. Now, who these groups are, what they look like, I mean... I'm assuming somebody's got to do something because a lot of people are sick of it, right? Right, right, right. What else are they saying? All right, this one was crazy. This person, this is from a friend who lives in San Francisco, but is tapped into politics. He says that, and he's a, a native San Francisco. He said that San Francisco might need to close the bridge or close the border and not have such an open border with Oakland because a lot of the crime that's even happening in San Francisco is coming from Oakland criminals, like people who are hopping in a car or stealing a car in Oakland, right. driving it to San Francisco, committing the crime, and then running back. Yeah, and a lot, and a lot of crime is taking place with stolen cars nowadays because you can't trace it. Yeah. So obviously, Oakland is getting so bad that even people in SF are kind of like, "Yo, we might need to close the border." That's that sounds crazy, and I, I feel like they're not going to do it, but it does, like, in a weird way, it, it sounds like some weird, like, dystopian thing. You know what I mean? Right, and Oakland is, what, having trouble self-policing because of, due to budgetary well, concerns, right? I, I mean, and I, not only is there a, there's the budgetary pool that every city has, right, collected from various uh, places and cash flows, but then there's also the deployment and distribution of that budget pool. Yeah, and, and I, there's a lot of factors why Oakland doesn't have as much money right now. Um, you could point to some of the sports teams leaving Oakland. Warriors have left. The A's are leaving. The Raiders have left. Who right. else is leaving? Yeah, and those In and Out is leaving. In and Out Whoa. is leaving because one uh, just got hit too much, or there was just too much troubles. Oh, there was a lot of troubles at In and Out. So yeah. like the In and Outs are pulling out of Oakland. You know, a lot of businesses are pulling out of Oakland. Dude, I believe. Yeah, it's rough, man. Um, and that's probably mostly due to crime, to be honest. You know. Um, so I guess. Yeah, people who live in Oakland, the watchers, the, you know, the audience I, out there who's in who's in the Bay Area, let us know how you guys feel about it because clearly all the news we're hearing is her terrible. Two and a half years ago, I filmed something in Oakland for Netflix, and that boba shop that I got this pea flower boba from that was colored blue, it was delicious, is closed down. Wow. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. It, it, yeah, it was crazy. So, so I guess. Uh, Apparently, a city can also file for bankruptcy. So somebody that I know was like, hey, Oakland should file for bankruptcy, and that might actually be better for Oakland in the long run yeah. to restructure. But then for a city to file for bankruptcy, that's like really bad for the mayor. I don't know. I'll, I'll tell you this. Even when I was there, it was crazy. There was like ATVs everywhere, and obviously you are not supposed to have ATVs on the street. Right. Um, let's just get into some comments uh, real quick regarding elderly uh you know, Asians being attacked, uh, Chinese, Filipino, et cetera, et cetera. I don't think they're targeting any specific group. Um, it says, it looks like a certain racial group, Asian, is being targeted again. Hate crimes need to be charged. Yeah. But then they're saying that <laughs> Asians are not actually considered a protected class. And usually hate crimes primarily, even though that's not how they're designed, is, as it plays out, it's mostly for white supremacists, right. hate crimes. No, I, I, I think... It's clear that they are targeting Asians uh, as easy targets, especially the elder Asians, and uh, it's for certainly hateful, you know, so why not make I, it a hate crime? It's true that I don't think that white or black people consider Asians like, it, and I'm not saying all, but like, I'm just saying structurally, it's almost like Asians are not even considered American, so these hate crime laws can't apply to non-Americans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how it feels like it is to be an Asian when it comes to like these binary laws. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, to be honest, I'm just keeping it real. I mean, at this point, look at everything that's happening. Who cares? I'll just say it. Um, somebody said, I wonder if California would allow concealed carry permit for senior citizens. And then someone was just like, come on, that's just like a fantasy idea. The logistics of it, the, the money, the training. No, I'll tell you this. All the people who are getting attacked or even more tragically murdered are being murdered by people who feel like they're easy targets. Dude, would you? Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think they're picking on Asian, older Asian women and elderly Asian men because they seem to be the easiest targets. No, to them, it's like kicking a cardboard box or destroying a, a sign. You know how yeah. like some people like destroy public yeah. property. And, and the also the truth is like there hasn't been, you know, an Asian 
there's not really like Asian gangs right now that are like coming back and clapping back at these criminals and like protecting their territory. And I'm not promoting Asian gangs, but obviously a lot of people always bring up the fact like, hey, if there was yeah. protectors of the community, man, even if they were gang members. Like, I don't like to bring it up like in this way, but like for sure, yeah, it's unlikely they're going to go to Long Beach and attack a lot of Cambodian seniors because right. there is some sort of uh, si like a system that will clap back. Yes, yes. There's you know, but not every Asian is like uh, built like that or just, just everybody's situation is so different. And, uh, you know, somebody's obviously got to take the responsibility and then the heat that comes along with that responsibility, et cetera, et cetera. Somebody said crime is down, they say, because statistically it's down about 30%, but a lot of people are accusing people of juking the stats, whether that's reclassifying crimes, Andrew, or they said the new trend uh, across the country is police simply not prosecuting crimes. Yeah, yeah. So if you don't prosecute crimes, they don't count as crimes. Also, uh, I mean, like, the DA's office, obviously the police, but, but the police not even arresting and having the write-up to begin yeah. with. And, and even in overall, if certain aspects of crime are going down, but the crime and targeting of Asian elders is going up, then obviously as Asian people, we feel it five times harder. Like well, everybody's like, oh yeah, crime's down 25%. Great. Oh, Asian elders attacks are up 700%. But as long as our crime's down overall. Right, right, right. And then obviously some people commented like, hey, this has been happening even 15 years ago when I lived in that neighborhood. It's horrible. They've always been targeting elderly because they think they carry cash and they can't defend themselves and they don't have any backup. Yo, let me say this. This is true. In South Seattle, Asian elders, people at our church got robbed. It wasn't this brutal though. Mm. It wasn't like this, how it is now. Like I'm saying that, they're all right, though. Like, the sentiment was always there that, like, Asians were weak and had money. Right. But it wasn't ever, like, to this level where they're, like, the, the threat of death is there. It was, like, maybe a push, a punch. Now right. it's, like, getting way too brutal. Um, somebody said nothing's going to stop until this starts happening to upper-class Asian Americans. Actually, I would argue that it's really probably not going to happen until it, it touches, like, somebody who's not Asian. Yeah. Yeah, do you think it would matter if... Upper class Asians were getting raw. I mean, in, it, it would was, matter more for sure. Yeah, for sure. Because these are lower income, newly arrived immigrants or people with non-citizen status. Right, right, People right. even within the Asian world are like not, it's not like the highest profile people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also like if it was happening in better neighborhoods, for sure they would care. You know, but if it's happening more in the neighborhoods that it's supposed to happen in, then people are like, oh, it's bad, but it's like, oh, what can you do? Right, Those right, right. Or if this elder Oakland Chinatown zone is just adjacent by a few streets that people will write it off as well as uh, proximity. Yeah. Um. Anyway, let's just get to the mayor, Andrew, the mayor situation. She's under investigation by the FBI. She's pretty defiant. Everybody on her team is jumping ship right now because she looks cooked. Yeah. Shen Tao looks cooked. Now, uh, her lawyer just resigned. Um, I think she had some other aide. Deputy of Communications. De Deputy of Duke Communications has resigned. <clears throat> so, I watched the full interview of her on the news, on the Oakland News. And, uh, you know, I don't really know what the investigation is about because it's ongoing and they can't talk about it. But it seems like... The last thing her lawyer did say was that she's not the target of it and that it might be someone related to her or her partner or boyfriend or whoever it is. So it's Andre just, Johnson or something. Yeah. Andre Jones, I think. Yeah. And either way, it's just a terrible look. And a lot of people that general sentiment is like people don't like her, obviously, you know. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Whether or not, however, she got elected. At the end of the day, she did get elected, though. She, she did. did get she elected. did. She, she did. did get elected, yeah. And uh, anyway, let's just get in the comment section. Somebody said, always funny to see how extremes on both sides of the spectrum are so similar. When caught, they gaslight, make up persecution claims, and anyone who's around them smart enough dumps them. Yes, well, and this does happen, guys. I understand Oakland. I know Shang Tao is, is a Democrat, whatever, like, oh, uh, Democrat city. So I'm like, this does happen to every side, right side and left side. When they get caught, they just... Make up excuses. A lot of people are talking about how the National Guard was sent in and the California Highway Patrol to deal with basically Oakland's uh, crime situation because it was just getting so out of hand, stolen cars and things like that. Um, somebody said, it's not really your fault. She's not a good mayor, but the city was also in shambles before she took office already. Yeah, you know, I, 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 I don't want to defend her, but I don't think any mayor, whether it's Eric Adams in New York City or Shang Tao in 
in Oakland has all the power to switch a city from bad to good. There is nobody that has that power, almost. Right. You know what I mean? So while the, the state of the city at the moment is not fully her fault, obviously I think that, you know, a lot of people do, still feel like regardless she's not doing a good job. Do you job. think this is the best case scenario, Andrew, that people go into the position with good intentions, they see all the systems around them are corrupt or quasi-corrupt, and they figure I might as well profit off this while I'm here because this whole ship is going down regardless, so let me siphon off what monetary benefit I can get from it. Yeah, I hope they don't. I hope they don't do that. But I do think that people generally... Uh, unless they're super 10 out of 10 corrupt, yeah, I would think that they come in with good intentions. With good intentions. Right, right, right. Or maybe they feel like, oh, I'm still doing good things, but let me get this little break off, this little piece here. This is how things work around here. It's worked yeah. like this way for decades. She, she did say, she did allude to the idea that like some rich billionaires in San Francisco are funding her recall. So meaning yeah. that, some rich billionaires in San Francisco want to get her out as mayor in Oakland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a conspiracy that it's because she did not want to go and get the taxpayers of Oakland to help fund a new A's stadium. That's why the A's are going to leave. But obviously the billionaires, they want to, you know how it's always a collaboration to like build new stadiums between private funding and citizen funding. Right, right, right. I don't know, man. You guys let me know in the comment section below. I'm sure you guys are way more tapped in. I'm just reading what I'm reading. Somebody said, laws and boundaries are necessary to achieve a lawful society. If she doesn't believe so, she must go. Yeah. I don't know what's going on right now, guys. It just uh, feels like everything is just not yeah, how yeah, it's yeah. like. Like I said, Portland, Seattle, Bay Area to varying extents and varying. Obviously, it varies politician to politician. It's just like... What are y'all doing? Yeah, here's my question, guys. And uh, without being specific on Oakland, because uh, I'm just reading what I'm reading and the people that I'm talking to, you know. But, like, it just seems like there's no good leadership in America right now. That's how it feels from a media standpoint. I only hear about all the mistakes the mayors are making. I hear about the bad stuff about the New York mayor, about the California governor, about... Uh, Donald Trump, Joe Biden, about the mayor of San, the DA of San Francisco, the mayor of Oakland, like just all you hear is the negative. Are there any good mayors out there? Are there any good governors that are actually doing a good job? I don't know. Ron DeSantis, that's the one I heard that kind well, of, I guess, has avoided most of the criticism. But essentially, who are the good leaders in America? Oh, man, I would say this. Is it a media I, I think thing? It, I think it's possible that there is a slight decline trend in the U.S. And the only thing you can do is either uplift that trend line to be plateau if you're doing a good job, which doesn't seem that noteworthy, or you double down on the downtrend. And that's why we hear, because I'm saying there's a macro downside trend. So right. the mayors either, either double down on that. And even if they go upside, it only neutralizes it to, to yeah. stabilize and plateau. And people aren't super geeked and excited or hyped about that. Yeah, either. I mean, maybe the... The, the the situation in these cities is so connected more to the macro trends that these leaders, like mayors of cities, they think, well, stuff is going down anyways, and there's actually nothing that I could do to change, so let me benefit from this how I can, like you said, David, and, and they just figure like, hey, if the world's getting worse, whatever, but if the country was getting better, it's not to their own credit either, you know what I mean? Right, there's all this stuff that's like out of their control too. Yeah, right? but I mean, I don't know. It just seems like there's so much bad leadership of cities out there right now. And I, like, I would tell you this, man. If, if I was an older Asian or somebody who had family more realistically because the older Asians from that generation that are 70 plus, they don't know. They're, they're pre-internet age. They're pre-really like globalization, pre- they don't have the information, guys. Listen, if you are their children, grandchildren, adjacent, something close enough, maybe even a nephew or a grandnephew, try to take a look at some options of getting them out there, mm. I, out of that environment. I, I don't see it. You know, like I said, there's, I'll tell you this. A lot of these things, they got too many factors for me to predict what's accurately what's going to happen. But I wouldn't say it looks uh, bullish. Right. It looks more bearish. Right. So get them out of there. By any means, investigate your options. Take a look at this. Take a look at that. There's a lot more Asian enclaves that are walkable in 2024 in safer areas than uh, 
you know, there was five years ago, 10 years ago. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think in the comment section below. What's going on in Oakland? What's going around the, on around the country? Keep it civil. Until next time, we the Hot Pop Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.